This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Friday, February 29th, 2013. Today in the news, Michael Jordan is hit with a paternity suit for a secret 16-year-old son. Struggling Groupon ousts its quirky CEO and the U.S. faces an $85 billion budget cut. Hoops legend Michael Jordan is being sued by a woman claiming he's the father of her teen son, according to a new report. Pamela Smith claims she became pregnant with Jordan's son after a 1995 tryst. Her son, Grant Pierce J. Jordan Reynolds, a.k.a. Taj, was born in June 1996. In December, Taj posted a video claiming Jordan is his father and OMG, he really does look like him. Gonna be a tough one to deny even without a paternity test. Smith charges in the suit filed on February six in Fulton County, Georgia, that she wants to retain full custody, but also now wants child support as well as medical expenses for her son. Smith is also pushing to make Jordan Taj's legal last name. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did ya? Groupon fired its eccentric 32-year-old CEO Andrew Mason a day after the Daily Deals company reported a quarterly loss that missed expectations and heightened scrutiny about whether it's been business model is flawed. Shares fell 24% this Thursday to $4.53 after the disappointing earnings. In a memo to employees that was by turns tongue-in-cheek and rueful, he said, quote, after four and a half intense and wonderful years as CEO of Groupon, I have decided that I'd like to spend more time with my family. Just kidding, I was fired today. Groupon is now beginning an official search for a permanent CEO. Well, I gotta say, the Groupon model is really a hit or miss, especially with service providers. They sometimes really see you as less of a client if you show up with your Groupon voucher. Don't you agree? U.S. political leaders are meeting for last-ditch talks at the White House to discuss the prospect of steep budget cuts. Cuts worth $85 billion are due to become law by the end of today. President Barack Obama will host Democrats and Republican leaders in a raging blame game in Washington. The IMF has said the cuts could have an impact on global growth. Mr. Obama favors what he calls a balanced approach to deficit reduction, mixing cuts with tax rises for some Americans. He criticized Republicans for refusing to close a single tax loophole that benefits the well-off and well-connected. Yeah, sounds about right, but who can blame them? Just prove yet again that the human being is notoriously driven by self-interest. No? I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.